Hello folks, my name is Taylor and welcome to 2K Central. In this video, we're going to be talking about all the concept art that has came out for Mafia 3 that hasn't really been shown yet to anyone. Um, and so I'm going to show you in this video, they're all really cool. I get excited about them because it shows just a little bit more of what's actually in Mafia 3 that you haven't seen in trailers and stuff like that. So the first image is this one. It's uh, Lincoln in his car, his muscle car, and he's driving through the streets of uh, New Orleans. Uh, you've got the big buildings there and the, the palm tree and uh, this is just kind of a setting. In the background it's cops, so I'm, I'm, I'm presuming he's in a cop chase in this one. This is just a pretty basic concept art, there's not really much to it. This next one I really like because it's based in the swamp lands of uh, Mafia 3. It's like your typical uh, Louisiana swamp lands. I think many missions will be carried out here and if the detail that's in this picture is in the game then I will be really impressed. The next picture is in a street in New Orleans and uh, this is the street that we see in most of the trailers. Uh, it's, they've got the big church in the background where you see Lincoln going and running and gunning down people and uh, I also think that the cistern, the, the uh, club thing that Lincoln takes, uh, I think this is nearby as well. The next picture doesn't show much, it's just an alleyway in the game. Um, the houses, maybe you might be able to buy one of the houses. Maybe one of the ones we see here, uh, that's one of the ones you could buy. I don't think there's any real significance to this picture, it's just kind of showing off um, the style of some of the streets and alleyways in uh, Mafia 3. This concept art is just a drawing of Lincoln's car, this is Lincoln's muscle car. We've seen it many times before so I'm just going to go on to the, the next picture. Now this picture I find quite nice, again it gives, that, it gives the kind of style and multicultural feeling of what New Orleans is at this time. The detail that's went into this picture, again, if that detail is in the game, then I will be really impressed, all the lights and stuff. Maybe you can buy one of these houses. I've also noticed that on the right you'll see the sign hotel. There's a lot of hotels and motels around uh, in New Orleans at this time. Um, and so I'm wondering if they play any sort of significance in the game. Maybe you could sleep in there to, to lose the cops or, or something like that, I don't know. But I've just noticed that there's a lot of them. Again, you've got the big church in the background. The next picture is of the Swamplands, but with the city in the background. Now, what I've noticed about the Swampland is uh, they're really abandoned and, and stuff like that. You've got the, the wooden house in the middle there that looks falling apart, and you've got all the uh, wreckage and, and rubble uh, lying around everywhere. Um, so the swamp plans are really shifty and that's why I think a lot of missions will be there because uh, a shifty setting you'll have shifty people. Uh, and this next picture really excites me, it's of inside an apartment in uh, Mafia 3. Again it's just a concept art so it's not actually taken directly from the game, it's just an idea but all the ideas are based on something in the game. So this is kind of a clue that maybe we'll be able to buy our own houses in Mafia 3 unlike Mafia 2. It might end up being like how Grand Theft, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 is with the apartments online. It might end up being like that, how you can buy your own apartments, maybe you can customise them, who knows, but this seems really modern, this apartment, and hopefully you can, you can buy and customise uh, your own places. This next picture is more of a, a creepy one, it's, uh, it's in the church, um, the people there, they're all drunk, but the, the one standing up right at the front there, he looks like a zombie, <laughs> and this whole setting with the big moon out and it's a greenish picture, it just reminds me of zombies for some reason, I don't know what that's got to do with anything, but uh, yeah, it just gives you an idea of what New Orleans will be like with uh, the people, how I made a video about world interaction systems, maybe you can interact with drunks, or maybe they'll talk to you or shout abuse at when you when you walk past them, I don't know, all these are just speculation and ideas but I hope that they're in the game. Here's pretty simple, we've got just a landscape of New Orleans, this will be the main city, um, the, build, the big buildings in the middle there, the ones more to the left, that's where you see all the screenshots of the Lincoln's car driving through and all that, that's where that is. And from the looks of this, with all the bridges and stuff, it seems like Mafia 3 will actually be a fairly big sized map. Again, here's just another shot of the, the streets in New Orleans, and uh, on the road there you can see streetcar rails, so there will be streetcars in the game like I've already said. If you've ever read the, the screenplay Streetcar Named Desire, uh, this whole New, New Orleans, it's set in New Orleans, and this whole New Orleans setting just reminds me of it, about the streetcar and, and the multicultural, and it just makes me so much more excited to play the game. Again, another hotel sign on the right there. <laughs> this is the last picture of the Swamplands, it's just a car driving through. I really like the Swampland area, it's, it's alone and for me that makes me really really curious to go explore it because it's so isolated and nobody really knows what's out there so I can't wait to actually get in and explore the, the swamp lands. Now this picture is interesting because it's a junkyard, uh, there's scrap cars everywhere. Now in Mafia 2, remember you could go to Brewski's, I think it was called, uh, Brewski's um, junkyard, you could crumple cars for money and also it was a mission where you had to hide a body, uh, you went and crumpled your car where the body was in the car. So from this it appears to be that there's going to be another junkyard in Mafia 3, 
Maybe that's another way to make money by scrapping cars. This is the last concept art of this video. Um, it's a market you can see, uh, really colourful, really bright. Again, it appears like every person is doing their own thing, which I like it makes the world feel more immersive and things like that. That's all the concept art I have for you so far. If, uh, if there's any more concept art that comes out, then I'll make sure to uh, show you guys. But until then, my name is Taylor, and you've been watching 2K Central. Bye-bye. <laughs>